everyone. Today I thought it would be fun to try to make some beautiful pots for our entrance over here. I have some plants with me over here. So I got two of these Super Vena Imperial Blue. And I also got uh, two Vinca Vines. And two of the Super Tunia Vista uh, Snowdrift. So these two, I believe, grow really large. The Vinca is going to give us some dramatic effect with the spilling. And this is just going to be a filler for us and, and a spiller at the same time. And the same thing with the Super Tunia, Super Tunia Vista over here with the snow drift. And I also have right here some geraniums that I started from seed. I have three colors in here. I'm going to choose one of them and hopefully I'll get the right color because I forgot what their colors are. I could go and look at the seed packets but I'm not going to do that because two of the colors would work actually really well with this. Both of them are on the pink side. One is a darker pink and one is a lighter pink. So I want to put these two pots right here at the entrance uh, of our hall. And we don't use this door a lot. It's a decor element to just beautify the entrance. And right now this area around me, you can't see it, but it's super messy. I have over here a bed that needs to be completely rehauled. And this bed over here with this uh, uh, azalea is uh, doing okay. But uh, on this side over here, it's really, really messy and there are weeds growing in the pathway. But that's okay, I will be um, addressing that pretty soon. I just use my edge trimmer to uh, get rid of the weeds in the pathway over here. It's a very old brick pathway and it's all kind of contorted. Uh, but it's, uh, it's serving its purpose for right now. So. Uh, I have, if you'll just ignore all the mess around here and just focus on the pots, I think uh, uh, that is what's going to make me happy and, uh, you know, just do something that is going to make your home, uh, is going to make you happy and make your home look more beautiful, even if you have areas like I do over here that desperately need to be addressed. Uh, so I got some um, potting soil. It's not organic. I believe this stuff has fertilizer already in it. Uh, so I'm going to be filling these pots. I just got these pots from Home Depot yesterday. They were $12 each and I thought that was that's pretty good. They do have a uh, drainage hole down here so I'm going to... I need to drill a hole in here uh, because I thought it was a plug. So I'm going to go get my drill and drill a hole in here just to make sure that the water can drain out of this pot in here. I'm going to start with a pilot hole and that's going to be a, a drill bit that's a lot smaller than the hole that I'm going to be making. Uh, I'm using the 7 over 64 for a pilot hole. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but <laughs> I've gotten better at it. I'm not an expert at using a, at using a drill, but I am definitely getting better at it with experience. When I drill a hole, I just try to press this in place so that it doesn't shift everywhere. You kind of want to put a little bit of pressure on it if this is your first time drilling a hole. And I start slow. I don't press on the button all the way. There we go. So that's my pilot hole. I'm going to do the same for this one over here. Now I'm going to take this out and replace it with a, a bigger drill bit. One that's going to be about the size that I want the hole to be. So this I'm using the 5 16th of an inch. That's a little bit too big but hopefully this should be okay. And I'm going to put the tip of the drill bit right at the hole where I just made and I'm going to start slow also and push a little bit on it. There we go. That looks good. So we got our hole over here. And I'm going to do the same with this one. I think these holes 
are a little bit too small, so I'm going to choose a, my biggest drill bit and drill a hole with that over here because I want the water to be able to drain easily out of these pots. You can always make a hole bigger, but you can't make it smaller. So I always like to start with the smaller bits first and then go up from there. So we got our hole, it looks pretty good, and now we can fill it with some soil. And you don't have to get the most expensive pots to make something look beautiful. These pots are beautiful, they have a beautiful design on them, they match the house, and they're just $12. I could have bought, I suppose, the really expensive stuff, but why? <laughs> I'm going, I also want to spend some money on the flowers, so by getting these simple pots over here that are still beautiful, I was able to also get some flowers to fill my pots with to make a beautiful display. So I filled it about two inches below this lip over here and I might add, actually I'm going to add a little bit more soil. I can take some soil out. I find it easier to take soil out than to add soil in. Because this soil is also going to settle once you water it. And as you notice, I don't have tons of plants, but these, this is going to grow big. This one also is going to grow big, and they are going to fill this container. And I'm going to have the with the geranium and with some little tender love and care, some fertilizer. They are going to be doing great and filling this pot. I don't have to buy tons of plants to make a beautiful pot. And also I don't need to see the back of the pot because these are just for the entrance so that when you are walking in, you can be greeted by these beautiful flowers. And I thought these two over here make beautiful impact together. So I'm going to choose the pink bicolor geranium. I think that would look really nice with these, if I remember it correctly. <laughs> in here I'm just going to plant them directly I'm not going to separate them this way they can fill this container a little more especially with the vigor of this super tunia over here I got these plants from Home Depot they have a good selection right now oops I just need to get it out of the pot though planting it at an angle this way it can spill over the side over here as well as fill in I've been hardening this geranium for about three days. It's been sitting outside um, this whole time. What I did is I brought it out when the temperature was around 60 degrees. And uh, it sat there. We had a lot of rain. And it just got acclimated pretty quickly. Right now it looks sparse, but these will fill in so quickly. And this uh, vinca, this vinca over here takes root 
so easily so I need to be <laughs> careful where I put it I don't know if this is a perennial here or not uh, but uh, if it is a perennial I would like to plant it somewhere because it is really nice and I love the variegation on it and right now the geranium has some yellow leaves on it just it, just because it's sitting in these little cells over here it's not getting uh, you know tons of space for its roots to sprawl out and uh, you know and it doesn't have the amount of nutrients that it needs even though I do fertilize it but that's the cause of these yellow leaves or chlorosis over here it will bounce back this soil over here has some fertilizer already in it uh, but I will be fertilizing not right away so in about a couple weeks after planting I'm going to be fertilizing these a little bit with some agro thrive I have the one for the flowers and I've been using that this is an organic fertilizer I've been using it inside on all of my plants they have one for vegetables and for leafy growth and one for flowers and I'm going to be using the one for flowers because that's going to encourage blooms on it and I will fertilize it once every week or once every two weeks uh, just to make sure that these plants continue to bloom and also continue to put on growth. I might need to come here and do some deadheading maybe on the superbina, but I don't think it's necessary. If anything, it's going to encourage more blooms and make it look more beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one also potted up. But well, first I'm going to move this slightly over because I just noticed it's not sitting exactly where I want it. So now this pot looks like it's totally filled. Maybe I have about a quarter inch lip to this pot. But this soil is going to settle once I water it. And that's uh, going to cause the lip to be a lot bigger and it's going to make it more difficult for these plants to spill over and for the pot to look more full because I've had experiences where just the, you can barely see the plants because I did not fill the pot enough. A bonus about these geraniums is that they actually smell nice. They have a sweet scent to them and I grew up with scented geraniums and I miss them so much whenever I look for geraniums in garden centers and in Home Depot and all that I cannot find the scented geraniums they look beautiful but they don't have any scent to them this the leaf the leaves smell delicious it's like uh, I don't know, it's like a, a dessert or like uh, like a re sweet smelling rose just very beautiful, very beautiful scent. And I have a video I think on when I started these geraniums and I'll link it for you in the description box below. You can start a lot of your flowers uh, for you know annuals and perennials from seed and that's what I have done this year but I did not think ahead to plant uh, some petunias and I did not buy the seeds for them when I wanted to plant them I just realized I didn't have the seeds and I just didn't feel like going hunting for petunia seeds so I ended up with no petunias and I suppose I could have also found seeds for this plant over here the superbina so next year I can think ahead and do that I can start ordering seeds now about my pots as well not just the plants that I'm going to be planting in the landscape I planted tons of seeds for the landscape but not for pots with exception to these uh, geraniums of course these I intended for them to go in the pots I can just see it now these are going to look gorgeous 
I can't wait until they sorry for the lighting I cannot wait until they start to fill up over here and they are going to give us tons of color in here I know <laughs> don't look here but these are just going to make this entrance really beautiful and that's what I want I will be clearing up this area I'm going to be pulling out all the gravel from here every year it's just a battle it's really hard to weed in here because of the gravel and I can't plant anything I find it very difficult to plant in the gravel this is going to be moving I don't know when but it will be maybe next season not this season because I'm going to be clearing out that area over there around the rock and I'm going to hopefully try to transplant it and put it over there one on each side of the rock you can't see the rock right now because there's this huge pile of um, shrubbery that I pulled up from all that area when I was when I was uh, clearing out the area for the trees over there oh and look at these tulips I love them I need to plant more of them over here and maybe some purple ones also to kind of create kind of like a river in here and make this whole area really beautiful this entire area again I'm going to be transforming this entire area into a kind of a formal garden both around both sides of the house and I want them to sort of mirror each other and just create this uh, beautiful welcoming space I know our sidewalk and our stairs do don't look nice but if you make something around it look nice even though the pathway and the stairs don't look nice they are going to just make it look more appealing and more welcoming more just beautiful to walk in here uh, so if you have an area like that don't be discouraged i uh, have been discouraged for so many years and i wouldn't do anything in here just because of how ugly this space looks like and it's really difficult to tackle it because there are so many areas that need tackling and in order for me to uh, start this process over here because I don't want to get rid of these plants I would like to transplant them somewhere else it's just not me it's not me to just take a plant and toss it I cannot do that unless I really hate it and even the plants that I hate I just don't I cannot do it uh, I will probably give it to someone before I toss it uh, so if you are like me if you feel the same way that I feel just don't be discouraged and you know one step at a time things will work out and uh, you know you can also donate plants um, just make sure that you don't have any weeds with them any any noxious weeds or anything like that if you don't like the plants that you have and uh, you can uh, grow plants from seed like I did and try to sell them if you want to the, the, this will allow you to um, you know purchase more plants that you love that you are not able to grow from seed uh, to create beautiful things like these pots over here uh, there are many ways to grow beautiful things and um, to enjoy to allow you to enjoy the space that you live in uh, without uh, spending an arm and a leg on it uh, and uh, this is my way of doing it. Maybe there are better ways out there, but this is how I do it. I either, you know, grow things from seed or I just find something in nature and, that I like, uh, that I know I can control and transplant that. Or, you know, these plants that came with the house and I do like them a lot, and, but I don't like where they are. I'm going to try to save them, to plant them where I want them to be. So I know the deck needs to be swept, don't look at that, but the, I would, wanted to show you the Agro Thrive. Uh, so this is the organic uh, fruit and flower. Uh, it's a liquid fertilizer and the reason why I am going to use liquid fertilizer is because these are annuals and they will require um, a lot more feeding than your perennials like the azalea and for some reason this azalea this year is just blooming at the bottom and the top hasn't bloomed yet and i've seen that all everywhere in our area they're only blooming at the bottom and the top hasn't bloomed yet it's leaking out though so annuals require um, require regular feeding 
uh, in order to allow them to grow and to bloom. And you can come here also and deadhead these things to make them more to make them bushier. Like this one right here, this bloom is kind of spent. So to deadhead, you're just gonna go down to uh, a place where, like, I'm just going to take this out because there's already two leaf nodes that are growing out of it and these two are going to create a bloom so this doesn't necessarily need deadheading but in plants like petunia not this super petunia over here uh, you're going to take the bloom out and there would be uh, two leaf nodes if i can find a, something like that so right here between these two leaves there's going to be uh, another two um, sets of stems that are going to grow from it so you'd go down there and then pinch it right there at the tip that's just like uh, most you know most plants will send out shoots that way um, I do the same thing to my basil to make it grow that way to make it bush out and this is just going to make this bush out as well so this is also spent it's not really that great so I'm going to go down and you can notice see it's already sending out these two stems right here and there it's going to put blooms on them but I'm just going to take that at the base between the two stems right there and that's going to allow them to bush up. These don't need deadheading they just need a lot of fertilizer and that's why I have the AgroThrive over here. I'm not associated with them I'm not sponsored by them but this is what I've been using. As I mentioned earlier I have been using it indoors. I learned my lesson to not use it indoors it is really stinky if you don't mind the stink that's fine but after a while it just starts to stink really bad in the beginning when you mix it in with the water it doesn't smell that bad uh, but once it sits in the plants it just smells awful like you go down the same day if I am uh, if I just put some water for them to absorb it with the fertilizer in it, it stinks. So I'm going to be using this fertilizer outside uh, on my outdoor plants in the pots and my potted plants. And also I'm going to be running an experiment this year. Uh, not a 100% experiment, I suppose you need a control for that. But I'm going to try to fertilize my broccoli with that because, and my cauliflower, because the thought just hit me that both cauliflower and broccoli are flowering plants. So if I fertilize them with a liquid fertilizer uh, then that's going to cause them to bloom more because you're actually eating the bloom on the uh, broccoli the um, the uh, the buds not the, not the blooms um, the, that's the head of broccoli it's just full of buds and if I fertilize them with a with a liquid fertilizer that's going to encourage blooms it might give me more buds on it and that's what I'm going to try to do this year same thing with the fig figs also and I'll just do a whole video on that probably I might do a whole video on that we'll see uh, the f I have a fig tree in a pot and I've done several videos on that if you're interested I can, I can link those videos in the description box below but figs are actually fruit uh, figs are figs are actually uh, flowers uh, so the also I was thinking if I water it with a liquid fertilizer that's going to encourage flowering it might give me more flowers or fruits on it and bigger flowers as well I will fertilize it with a, a slow release organic fertilizer as well and if um, and I have already done that but to encourage more uh, fruits on it or flowers I'm going to be fertilizing it with this liquid fertilizer but I mean doesn't it just make look the space so much better even with all the ugliness that's around it and here let me take this out of here so that you can see it better I hope you guys can see well it's kind of there's shun, sun and shade it's really difficult to um, make things pop because of the lighting right now but I am I think I'm just going to love it and that's what matters if you love it you know create a space that is for you and not for someone else and that's what matters because you're the one that's going to be seeing it every day you're the one that's going to be living in that space and um, so make it work for you <laughs> I should have 
I did a mistake. I should have made that mirror that one. Instead I have the Super Tunia on the outside on this one and the Super Bina on the inside. I think I'm going to fix this pot and make the Super Tunia on the outside and the Super Bina on the inside. So just imagine that. I just did a mistake over here, so I'll fix it quickly. Uh, you don't have to see me do that. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I want to encourage you to go outside and plant something beautiful, start something from seed, um, grow fruits, grow flowers, grow vegetables, get out there and get growing and happy gardening. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye. That's better.